G'day guys, just a quick one today. Yep, that was quick. It appears that every man and his dog has made a wire clamp tool. Just watch one video and every time you light up YouTube, there's another one. Every one I've seen works great, but they're slow. I started by first mutilating a pair of vice grips. The brief is simple. Find a way to hold the wire tight and a lever to stretch it or tension it. I was going to mount a push rod in the middle of the vice grip jaws. I got this far and then I realised that it was pretty obvious that with a little bit of tension this bar is going to break where the hole is. After another sleepless night I come up with the idea of using end cutters to hold the wire. Using vice grips, you'd have to release it to advance the wire after tensioning. Inconvenient. But having a cutter as part of the tool is, well, you'll see. We well, hope this works. The hardware store ain't going to take this back after I've modified it. Hmm. Getting started on the tabs. Before welding the tabs, I figured it was a good idea to uh, shape the handle. So I started heating up a 9mm printer rod to bend it to shape. This toolmaker's clamp never come with a hole in the end. You'd think I would have fixed this by now. That's a Saturday job. Yeah. Notice the silly old bugger wearing sandals playing with hot stuff? Hmm. I could have made this work, but I think I've got a better idea. I'm going to cut it from a piece of 6mm plate. I couldn't find any tracing paper, but baked paper does just as well. To transfer the pattern onto the steel, I'm using carbon paper with a ballpoint pen. Pressing fairly hard. I don't know why I circled the hole because I'm pretty sure it ain't going to end up there. Ta-da! There's no way to clamp these tabs in place so I've used um, a couple of pieces of wire. Fingers crossed. Well, I don't think I'm ever going to win a prize for welding. This is after a lot of cleanup, and I had to redrill the holes. What a mess. I used this gasless inverter MIG welder. Maybe it's my settings. Any tips will be greatly appreciated. Help! Or well, the welding unit just isn't very good. Working on the inside of the lever, I got it pretty close. And it's time to drill the hole and finish it from there. Before final assembly, it's time to mutilate these end cutters. This is to get it as close to fittings as possible. A neat trick to get your pins to stay in place is to knurl where you want it to jam. And I'm going to jam it into the middle of the lever. I put a couple of uh, pieces of heat shrink on the lever to soften the grip. And a groove on the end to push the wire into the hose. So this is my recommended method of operation. Pinch the wire 
pull it back and straighten it out. A little bit of fussing around here, but get the wire as straight as you can. Now place the wire in the middle of the lever, hold it tight, bend it up, and this gives you a nice little square end, which helps with assembly. I'm using 1.5 millimeter galvanized steel wire. Keeping the wire attached to the tool, thread it through the loop twice. This can be a bit awkward, but you know, a bit of practice you can get there. When you get to this stage, take the handle out and using the clippers, hold on to the end and just continue bending it to the hose or whatever you're trying to attach. Don't need to be too fussy, that's close enough. Trim the end of the wires. A good idea is to spread the wires before snipping them, but if you forget like I just did, you can use the tip of the lever just to pry them apart. So, grip the wire, use the lever to uh, tighten the hose clamp, and as you go, just snip it off the length. When you get to the point where there's a lot of tension on the lever, just spin it around, and this will tighten it. Then snip it off. Another view from the top. Use the body to bend the wire back, then use the groove in the tip to steer it and press it in harder. Well, let's see how well this system works. Yep, that'll do. <laughs> we interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. I'm not happy. Why aren't you happy, Steve, though? Because I've made this tool and it works, but it doesn't work very quick. I've tried this 15 times and I can't get this down to under two minutes. It's inefficient, so I'm going back to the drawing board and having another shot. So here's the plan. I'm going to change the degrees from 20 to 25. And I've moved the distance from the notch to the pin from 18 to 28. Now that will increase the travel from 6 millimetres to 12 millimetres. And this, of course, includes more welding. <laughs> the result, more efficient, hopefully. I've already marked out the uh, pattern for the new handle. See how we go. So this is my problem. Always read the instructions to your machinery. This allegedly only welds up to four millimetre thick. And of course, I'm trying to go way beyond that. And at four millimetre, the voltage has got to be between I and J and the speed between seven and nine. So I've started it at seven. I'm gonna do a test world to see how I go and then increase it from there if necessary. Wish me luck. Now, you know I'm getting serious when I got my work boots on. No hot embers on these little tootsies. This is just a couple of bits of off cut I've uh, clamped together as a a practice piece.
Yep. Need more practice. So after watching dozens of welding videos, I went back to it. Hmm. Getting better. Time to move the tabs. Bye bye. Swapping out the 40 grit for a 120. Hell, I may even be able to take this back to the hardware store without them noticing. I've just been practicing some beads and a couple of spots just to get my spotting technique down. Yeah bugger it. I'm going to go for it. Well, looks like I'm going to have to clean that hole out again. That's not too bad. My first attempt was, you know, absolutely shocking. That's why I was too embarrassed to show anybody. But I can weld. Not very well, but I can weld. <laughs> I could clean this up a lot better than this, but I think I'll just leave it as it is, as a memory, a traumatic one. Now I'm just toying with the idea of using the original lever, but it ain't going to cut it. Damn. G'day guys, with the new and improved lever, I managed to get the time down to 1 minute 30 seconds, which I was quite happy with, and I was going to post it. That was it. That's the best I can do. And I figured I had a bit of fumbling during that take, and the next night I thought, oh, I'm going to try again. I got it down on the first run to 1 minute 27 seconds. And I thought, yeah, okay, still with some fumbling. And I thought, if I stop fumbling, <laughs> I can do even better. So I had another few shots, and I actually got it down to one minute, ten and a quarter seconds. Watch this. quick was that? Now for all you clever buggers out there, time for a fun challenge. Make the tool, improve the tool if possible, and beat my time. And if you can't weld, find someone who can. <laughs> Catch you later.